In this video we're going to solve the error hydration failed because the initial UI does not match what was rendered on the server. So there are five, six uh, causes for this error and let's go through them. So most of you are going to have this error because you have incorrect HTML formatting. So in this example that I have here, I have a div element in a P uh, tag here. That's not allowed in HTML, so you're going to get that issue. Now, why are you getting that issue? Why this weird uh, error? Why why doesn't it just say that the HTML is incorrect? Well, basically, uh, in the browser, the browser will automatically deal with this in a different way than uh, the server. Right? So uh, this is just a general error. Now, typical, you have a div and a P is very typical. Some other people may have, for example, if you have a UL list, you cannot just have like a paragraph like this and then an li, right? Or uh, even a div, for example. This also does not work. So make sure you have you don't have this. Another typical one is, for example, if you have a p tag and in there an h1 tag or any heading tag, right? So if you do that, you're still going to get the error. And let's see if I refresh. Yeah, the error is still here, right? So this is also not allowed. Also in Next.js 13, we have that link component, and that will actually already give us uh, an anchor tag in the HTML. So if you try doing this, for example, with another anchor tag, you're gonna have two anchor tags, right? Also not allowed, so you're gonna get that error. If you're using a table, you need to make sure that you actually have a T body, right? So uh, some people forget this one. And let's see, um, if you have, for example, an anchor tag, or a link, uh, you cannot just put you cannot just put an image in here, right? So here you're also going to get issues, right? So just make sure that your HTML is formatted properly. All right. So then a second possible reason has to do with extensions. So if you have, for example, an extension that uh, you know automatic, you can download all images on the page with one click. That extension may insert something here on the client to all image tags. And therefore, that's going to be different on the client than from the server. Right? So make sure that your extensions aren't interfering with the HTML here on the client. Right? So make sure you maybe that maybe go into incognito, incognito mode or just disable all extensions and see if that solves it. All right, so another common uh, cause for this error is if you're using a third-party component that itself is uh, using some, for example, window object under the hood. So in that case, you need to make sure, right? So let's say um, I'm importing a slider component here. Import uh, slider, slider from, uh, you know, best slider library. It could even be your own component, by the way. But typically it's going to be third party components. Let's say I have npm installed some third party component. I'm importing the slider component. A lot of those, a lot of those uh, third party components are not completely up to date with, you know, the window object um, and the, the, the render environment. So a lot of them haven't really taken this into account. So if you try using slider, it may use the window object, right? Window objects, you, 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 it's not available on the server, so you're going to get that issue as well. So to make sure that this, this slider is only rendered on the client, what we could do, for example, is we can use, uh, well, we can check, is this the client? So we can say, is client set? We're just going to keep track of it. So initially, we could say it's false. And then with use effect, use effect only runs on the client. So then with this use effect, we can, when it first mounts this component, we can set is client to true. Now use effect can only be uh, used in a client component. So we do have to make this a client component. Typically not recommended to, you know, make this client a client component so high up in the tree, right, whole page. Typically you want to combine it to a more uh, edge, the edge part of your React tree. But now we can use use client. Let me import this here and use state as well. All right, so now we can check very simply here. Uh, is, the, is this the client? Then we want to render this slider. Right, so then this is how you would solve it because now this slider, slider doesn't exist here, so I'm going to get that ish error. But now we make sure that this is not rendered on the server. Right, so this is also not pre rendered on the server. Right, so uh, this is also uh, a possible fix in case you're using a third party component. 
By the way, just converting a third party component to a client component with use client, that's not enough because even client components are still pre rendered on the server, right? So, uh, this use effect basically prevents this from even pre rendering. So, this basically now never runs. This never runs on the uh, server. Okay, so if that didn't solve it, maybe you're using some CSS. Some people also mentioned that, for example, if you have a background image, maybe you're writing CSS somewhere in your JavaScript. If you have a URL here, you can have these quotes. And uh, what could work is, it, is that you leave off the quotes. Right, so without the quotes, that could also be a, a fix actually. So maybe check, maybe not only background image, but maybe you're using some other CSS feature with quotes, maybe try removing the quotes. All right, so then another possible solution, if that all of that didn't solve it, another possible case for this is because you're working with dates or time zones. Right, so maybe you have you know some date object and with dates you can have something like to locale or some locale time date string. And that's going to be different on the server than on the client because on the client here a user could have configured a different time zone right and on the server um you know that's a, the, the computer the server computer is going to be in a different time zone so you can have discrepancies like that as well all right now if all of that didn't solve it and sometimes you can solve it because with, with dates for example yeah a date is simply going to be different on the on the user computer than on the server, right? That's always going to be different depending on the, what the user, what kind of settings they have. So sometimes you can't get around it or maybe you simply don't have, uh, you don't know why. Then the best way is simply to use that use effect trick where you will only uh, run that, uh, you will only render that component here on the client without it being pre-rendered. Right, so this is what we looked at uh, before with the slider. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you watch back a little bit. And you can just check if it's the client here and set the state and only run, right? So let me just quickly write this out. So here we make sure that this is only rendered on the client. It's not pre-rendered on the server. So that should solve the issue. Now, what you can also do, you can simply ignore that issue. So if this, if some, slider component is giving you an issue um, you can also just say uh, suppress suppress hydration warning right so you can put this on the component or element that's giving you issues and that should also uh, solve it and actually i'm not sure if you can add it to your to a uh, custom component that may actually not be possible but you, you can add it to a uh, element in, in here, for example. And so if this is giving you issues, you can just suppress it like this. And you can even add this to the root of your app. So layout here. If you add this to uh, the body or the HTML, it's going to ignore it for the whole app, essentially. So that's basically ignoring it. It's not the optimal solution. You don't want to ignore warnings unless you know what you're doing. Right? So sometimes you can't get around this with dates, for example or you know generating random numbers it's always going to be different and you, you just want to get rid of the warning so this could be a solution so i hope that fixed your issue by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon